thousands of Treasure Valley residents will hit the road this summer on the hunt for new adventures. And there's one nearby destination that's booming with paranormal tourism. Our KBY2 News photojournalists take us inside the Geyser Grand Hotel in Baker City, Oregon. It's the ultimate intrigue. It's like a mystery that so far continues year after year. If you're down here with us, why won't you speak with us? Are there ghosts? If they want to be heard, they're going to be heard. Or not. Is there a gentleman here with us? If they are, why are they here? What do they want? Are you hiding right now? Isn't that interesting? Whether people believe it or people are skeptics or they experience it or they don't, it's great for our small town. People have told me that it's haunted and there's been a bunch of stories about people hearing ghosts in their room and seeing them. I'm not really sure like whether to believe all of them. Growing up here, you always hear the story of there's a lady in blue and a lady in red and a cook with no head. And the story is, there was a waiter here waiting and waiting and waiting. He got impatient and stuck his head in there and looked up and the dumb waiter came down and took his head off. I've heard that lights will flicker. They hear footsteps. They hear little voices. I heard something sound like a woman screaming. I've heard stories. That's what I heard. When something really happens, it's it's neat, it's so rare. And in the video, you can see the door just stops and pops open. I've never seen a ghost. Want me to come find you? But it's really fun to wonder what is really going on. I think I heard somebody go, Ugh. Really? Yes. Right here. No, right here. Right there. Right where I'm at. Right there. I've heard in the kitchen one time, Got a great EVP of something that sounds like an old, uh, possible southern gentleman. And you hear through the static. You hear him talking right over the static. He goes, I sees you. It's pretty interesting. A uh, lady in blue who used to be an owner that passed away here, walking down the stairs and people will see her in the mirror and then they'll turn around, there won't be anybody there. We believe her name is Grandma Annabelle. We believe she was the mother of one of the owners of the hotel in the early 20th century. And different people that haven't talked to each other have described her to me as looking alike. She has a receding chin. She has dark brown hair like my color. She wears it up in a Gibson girl style. And she always wears a beautiful long blue dress. And she kind of floats around. Sometimes she'll sit down next to your bed if you're in 302. She'll go up and down the staircase, sometimes disappear into the wall. If you're here with me, you want to play? Can you move something or make a sound for me? We've picked up multiple EVPs of a little girl here. As the story goes, while well, the owner had, had a daughter, they're really close. And so here, potentially, is his handprint and her handprint, where we've had experiences and we didn't know this was here. The interesting thing with the prints is this could create an emotional tie to the facility. So from a paranormal point of view, you've got something that's connecting someone to stay. It freaked me out. I put me on a whole nother level tonight. And they said, have you seen the handprints? What are you talking about handprints? So this is new to me. I'm like getting a candy store down. The only story that I think is the most fun and I've never heard about anywhere else in the world is the party ghosts. Going back into the 1950s, we hear the partying start. And you know what a party sounds like. You've got clinking glasses, a little bit of low, hum and laughter, kind of like what you're hearing right now. Maybe a little bit of tinkling music, but nothing you can really distinguish. But definitely, you're hearing a party. You open the doors, it stops. And these are dozens of ghosts having a party. We don't take the position that there are ghosts. We don't encourage that. We just take the position that the hunt for ghosts is nothing but fun. And if they're here, they're fun. There's nothing bad about it, because everybody, including all the staff, is having a ball with it. And for $50, you can actually go with researchers on an overnight ghost investigation at the hotel. All that money is donated to the Friends of Historic Baker.